This is just overwhelming. Amazing. How did Thaddeus make a flying machine in the 1800s? Bet this thing still works. Oh, I'm sure it's operational. Dr. M, glad you could see all this. I know you've been looking forward to it. Looking forward to all this and your death. Come on, aren't we supposed to banner a little? I only talked with my equals, and Bentley said no. no. You've got some moxie, Sly. I'll give you that. I don't know what went down between you and my father, but I'm telling you, it's not the same with me and Bentley. You might be right. He risked his life to defend you. I do the same for him. Funny. Your father was never such a good friend. We're all individuals. I might be part of all this, a member of the Cooper line, but in the end, I'm just me. Not Henriette, Thaddeus, Slight and Common, Ryoichi, or my father. Just Sly. Please, keep your touchy-feely rhetoric to yourself. I can't stomach it. You Coopers, a bunch of dirty, attention-grubbing thieves! All of you, thieves! Hold it right there! Both of you thieves are going to jail. Nice to see you, gorgeous. You too. Oh, I love you, Trist. I might be beaten, but I'll make you suffer. Not her! No one hurts my criminal. Light? Where are we? What is this place? Slide, can you remember anything? 
No. Who are you? You look familiar. I'm Inspector Carmelita Montoya Fox. And who am I? You. You're my partner, Constable Cooper. Well, partner, we'd better get out of here. The ceiling's gonna go. Haven't got much time. Let's go. Sly! You in here? Sly! We watched as Dr. M just stood there, unwilling to leave as the walls caved in on the vault. He'd spent his life lusting over the Cooper fortune, and he wasn't going to give it up, no matter what the cost. Our exit was a little rough, but Murray managed to get us out just in time to witness the final fate of the Cooper legacy. It was a bittersweet moment. The end of the road always is. We both looked on, lost in our thoughts, thinking back on all the adventures that had brought us here. The people we'd met and places we'd seen. We'd worked for a long time to get Sly into that great vault, and now its secrets were hidden again, this time for good. I could only hope that he'd found what he was looking for in there. We searched every inch of the island for Sly, retrieving the gang one by one, only to make the surprising discovery that he didn't want to be found. As always, he'd left a calling card, only this time, it was worth millions. The months rolled by, and when Sly still hadn't shown up, Murray headed back east to complete his training with the Guru. Without Sly as our leader, for the first time, we each had to step out on our own. A difficult thing. We'd been together ever since we met at the orphanage. To this day, Murray and I are still close. Recently, he's been trying to break into the pro racing circuit, stock band class. Things are looking good. He's got a unique talent for living through crashes other people would have found fatal. Just always bounces clear. And of course, there's Penelope, my new partner in crime. Let me tell you, I'm in love. She and I have set out on a journey that I never would have dreamed up while running with Sly and Murray, although I hope our paths will cross again soon. So while this might be the end of our adventures together, it could be the start of something even bigger. Time will tell. Literally. Cause I'm building a time machine to find out. Dimitri went on to become a celebrity skin diver. The ladies flocked to him, and so did the money. I got a postcard from him once. It said, I'm here, wish you were fine. Like me. He's his own man. The Panda King returned to China and lived a happy life living two doors down from his beloved daughter. She, of course, was pleased to have him screen all of her future suitors. As of yet, she's still unmarried. The Guru returned to the Outback and took on some new Dreamtime students one of which was a high-profile rock star that brought a lot of unwanted media attention. Last I heard, he was hiding out in New York City. Figured it was the last place they'd ever look.
sneaky devil. <laughs> <laughs>